If your New Year's resolution was to be more healthy, but you've already ditched it, well, you're probably not alone. That's why health and fitness expert Di Manuel is here to get us back on track. Thanks for being here, Di. Hey, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it again. There you go. There you go. Talk to me a little uh, bit about healthy and unhealthy resolutions, because that's a big thing for you. Yeah. Well, the big thing is there's unhealthy trends and also New Year's resolutions this time of year. We set lofty, lofty resolutions for mm -hmm. ourselves. And the problem is, is statistically, most people have given up before the first month's even done because it doesn't fit our lifestyles. It's hard, right? You yeah. know what works for you. Yeah. So why not set something that's more goal focused that you can maintain all year round and develop a lifestyle around it rather than trying to create these hurdles that you have to constantly try to jump over. Where you're kind of kind of setting yourself up for failure. Yeah. Well, and, and so I'm just asking people to get back to basics. Like if there's one thing that you can implement this year, get back to whole foods, less uh, processed foods. So less more unprocessed foods. foods, you know? Yeah. I know when I go to the grocery store, the first thing I do when I'm trying to stay healthy is uh -huh. I look at the calorie count. Okay. 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 Is there 100 yeah. calories? Is there two, three, four, whatever it is? You have a bit of a different philosophy, though. Yeah, well, I think we're all conditioned, mm -hmm. right? We're conditioned to look at calorie counts. And I want to encourage people to stay away from calorie counting. Start looking at nutrient density, nutrient quality, right? So when you start looking at foods, in particular, you know, protein is a prime example. Mm -hmm. It's one of the macronutrients that we need in our diet every day. Most Canadians are eating under the recommendations recommended daily allowance. So if we start adding a bit more high quality protein to our diet, we'll see metabolism increase, we'll see brain function increase, we'll see our energy increase. And uh, so just as an example, just yeah. from a quality standpoint of nutrient quality, uh, you know, you could get 26 grams of protein from two and a half servings of black beans. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Seven servings of <laughs> peanut butter, yeah. 26 grams of protein. Uh, you'll notice we have some hummus over here, six servings of that. But, and this is where you can really see quality stand out uh, is I brought in 75 grams of lean cut steak and you get and your protein 26 right there. grams is only 185 calories if you are concerned about the calorie side of things so you get all your protein there just as the steak yes. for an example with only 100 or so calories yeah, there plus, I mean compared yeah. to like eating a Big Mac or something like that it's a big difference well it's a big difference it's better quality of, mm -hmm. of, of the calories if you're gonna get to that specific specificity um, but it's loaded with B uh, B vitamins zinc uh, selenium and so it's just from a functionality standpoint mm -hmm. it's gonna give you way more bang for the buck so you're eating you're looking for nutrients as opposed to that real number of calorie count or yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And think about your lifestyle. What's going to yeah. fuel you to be more awesome, okay? Now, for some of us, obviously it's hard sometimes, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, to cook at home uh, sure. all the time and go grocery shopping. If we are going to eat out, is there a right way to do it? Yeah, I mean, most of us eat out based on convenience. Mm -hmm. And the problem is there, it's hard to control portion sizes. Also, you don't know what's going into the food that you're eating. So if you are going to eat out, there's a couple little things that you can do. Like my wife and I will often order two entrees. I'll mm -hmm. order a salad made with like lean steak or a piece of salmon on it she'll order a burger with some yam fries and we'll have these <laughs> you know oh, there you go yeah. so we're both getting and we're feeling satiated um, but at home I don't want people to use that as an excuse because I'm the laziest cook right <laughs> I, I'm just telling you I got yeah. two kids a wife I'm busy um, and that's why I brought the, the beef oven roast you know you th throw it in the oven literally you set it and forget it yeah but from that, I get two to three more meals throughout the week. As a prime example, great salad topper. You can also make grab and go tortillas. So you can be really smart with your time and leverage it better. So you make one thing like this, but you've actually created two, three different yeah. meals. Or four. <laughs> or four. Yeah. And, and, and it stops uh, you from thinking, okay, my meal's stale. I'm tired of having leftovers. Yeah. You don't want that? Yeah. Great ideas. Well, listen, for all of these recipes, you can head to Dai's website, diemanual.com. He has a lot of great stuff over there.